Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to add an extra weather station base unit to the Netamo system. In case you didn't know, the Netamo weather station is a smart weather station that lets you monitor the indoor, outdoor environment of your home such as temperature, humidity, air quality, noise and more. As you can see, this is the app for it. If you just press overview, we can see that going clockwise around shows the current weather, the outdoor temperature, the pressure, the feels like temperature and the dew point, the outdoor humidity, it's then got a seven day forecast. And then you go down to the um, secondary modules. So at the bottom is this is the indoor module, which is the main module. You've got an indoor CO2 level, indoor temperature, indoor humidity, a sound meter, and the indoor CO2 level. So if I go here and click press this and then go to the next, so you go to a different room, Press the same again, it slightly changes on the bottom, it removes the sound monitor, so you've only got indoor CO2 level, indoor temperature, indoor humidity, and then again a numerical readout for the indoor CO2 level again. Click that, so indoor, the main module, and then additional modules, so I've got one in my kitchen, and then I've got one in my bedroom. So the point of this video is to look at how to add a, another weather station main unit to your overall Netamo system. The current issue that you can potentially have is you can have the main indoor module, you can have another module, so here for example I've got kitchen, I've got bedroom and I can have an initial one more. But I can only have three per main unit. For instance if you wanted more, if you had a conservatory or you want to have more, a lot more rooms in your house, um, the only way to get additional internal modules is to have another weather station and I'll show you how to do that. Alternatively you could use the same setup in another house so you can monitor up to three in one house and then three into another house. If I go here and have a look at manage my home it will list my home and it'll go bedroom, a unit in there, kitchen, unit in there, living room, main indoor unit and an outdoor which is the external unit. What we're going to do is we're going to look at how to add a, another main unit and how to add uh, further modules from there. And here they are, both of my Netamo base stations, uh, my original primary one and uh, my secondary one. Nothing particularly exciting, they both are virtually identical. Um, you know, they both do exactly the same as, as each other. But they are different and you could put them in different places. I've just got them next to each other just so you can see that I've actually got two separate base stations. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at adding another module. So if I click here, go to install new products and we're going to add another smart home weather station even though you've already got one. So we're going to click on that. I've already plugged it in. Press start, now I'm going to go and press the light on the button on top, bear with me. So now we have a flashing blue light, and click next, Bluetooth, pull out, location services, and the station is powering up, so let's just wait for this, flashing away blue, takes a little while, find it. It's in the same room as I am so hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Without pairing, yes, please pair. Let's set this up. Then this is the part where it just connects itself to uh, the Wi-Fi so it can talk to itself and talk to uh, the Netamo servers. There we go. Okay, well you not want to see that. Okay, so now we've just added the Wi-Fi password. Now we we'll just wait for this to configure. Here we go. Password is accepted. And we are just waiting for it to connect. There we are. Now it's been added. Bluetooth can be turned off. Continue. So, add it already. Yeah. And then this is for adding the external module. So we'll have a look at this in a second. 
Okay, here I'm going to be unboxing the external sensor I got for my secondary Netamo base station. Packaging isn't particularly exciting, but then again, it's not really a major retail unit for them. Um, this is only if you, your external sensor actually gets damaged or lost or stolen, so this is a replacement you can buy. Nothing particularly interesting, some basic instructions and in every single language you can find. Let's have a look at it. Here it is. Get the actual unit itself. I'll we'll just take the batteries out first before I take those out and lose them. So we've got the two batteries, which is nice to get batteries with the unit. Let's remove this from the box and then just pop it out carefully from its packaging. Nothing particularly exciting, does look like an internal unit as well, but it is actually the external, uh, extra external unit. So I'll be pairing this with the second base station I've got. So I'll end up with two base stations and two external units plus the other internal sensors connected to my primary unit. Have a quick look, unscrew, here we go. And there we are, that's the internal. And then to put the batteries in, unscrew these. Because it's an external unit, this is for waterproofing. Carefully, rub a seal around there. Get that. Batteries, and we get positive there, and we get a negative there. Then it's got some pins so it all locates in the right place, which I will try to do. There we are, and then the trick with this is you lap it over the top, in position, hold it down, and then screw this back on a bit at a time each way until it's fully down, nice and secure. And done. There it is, that's now going to be functional. I'll now put this back in again carefully. He says, making sure he gets it in the right place, which is, I think is around about there. And a little twist. And there we are. A ready to go, ready to pair new Netimo external sensor. Okay, so we've just added batteries to the external module. So let's continue, pretend we placed it outside for now. And okay, as you can see here, we have the internal indoor module. I'm sure I haven't got a bad reading at the moment, but that's because I've been in the room for quite a while. And then we're just gonna wait and see about the external module. As you can now see, I've added the external module to the new base station. So at the top, you've got the new base station, Ricky, Recording a temperature of 19.4 degrees. We're holding that because at the moment this is in testing, so the external module is indoors. And then below you have the internal module, which again is the extra base station, showing 21.2. If I scroll over to the right, you will see any additional modules. At the moment, for this base station, there are zero additional modules. So as you can see, it's add up to three per station, but it's zero out of three. Let's look through the app now to have a look at how you can access both stations. So we go up to here. At the moment, this is Alt Home. Go to Manage My Home. At the moment, everything's in a default room. And you've got both the indoor and the outdoor modules both displayed there. If I go back, back here, and finally back again, I can now select both of my modules. You can see my original home um, module is now displaying the seven degrees, which is the external temperature. So let's click on that. Seven degrees, 6.9 is what you rounds it up slightly. And then below you've got my additional indoor modules, which is the first indoor module, which is the 19.3, which is the main base station, my original base station. Scroll to the right, kitchen as before, and then finally the bedroom one. Scroll back, and so that's my original base station with the two additional modules. And if I go up here, the home, alt home, that's my secondary base station with my um, main home unit. So 
no additional ones there, but you can add extra home ones there. So you could potentially have six um, home um, temperature modules um, with two base stations. So you could have two base stations and what they could be in separate rooms um, and also two external um, units as well. It does get quite complicated, but you know, if you've got a large house or you've got an outbuilding, and you could use it in there and you can cover quite a lot of areas or if you've got a second home or if you've got a relative who's got a second home and someone you're looking after and you want to keep an eye on their house and see what temperature their rooms are at you can do exactly the same with this as well so it is quite flexible um, you have got to think about how you want to use it you have unfortunately got to have an entire new system um, to have a secondary one you can't just keep adding modules onto the first and the limitation is only three modules per base station but you can get additional base stations I don't know whether you can add a third base station. At the moment, I've got the two. Maybe you can add a third. Um, I don't know whether anyone has actually gone down that route or whether you'd be looking at another system. But uh, you know, this is what I've got, and uh, I think it works quite well. The best thing I can recommend is to see how it would work out for your usage case. Um, if you've got two houses, or you've got an outbuilding, or as I was explaining before, if you've got a, a relative's house you want to mon monitor, there's lots of different options. Um, I think it works quite well. I think the way that they've done the imp implementation is quite flexible. Um, you, you, you can label different houses and label different rooms and things like that. So it's um, it's not that fixed. It's quite flexible. The system itself is quite good. It's quite accurate. Um, there are more expensive systems out there, but I think for what you pay for it, you get a very good system. Um, I do recommend it. Well, that's all I have for now. Thank you very much for watching my video. If you do have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Until next time, thank you for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe.